Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what came in my P.O. box this month. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. I want to say a great big welcome back to my subscribers and regular viewers and if this is your first time to my channel I hope that by the end of this video you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. So each month I try to stop by and share with you what I've got in my P.O. box for the month. This used to be just a show us your sheet load feature but then I was having subscribers send in cards just because. I don't know yet if this will be only a show us your sheet load video or if there is other happy mail from subscribers. If you would like to find out how to share a card with us, I will have the video linked in the description box below and it is the show us your sheet load guidelines video. And as always, if you just want to send me a card or a note to say hey, my P.O. box is listed in the description box of all of my videos. Let's go ahead and see what's in these envelopes. This first piece of mail is from Christina M. And it is a sheet load of cards. She has used a March 2020 sheet load of cards, so the latest one, and has created this fun springy card. Very pretty, Christina, thank you. Next is an envelope from Naomi H. All right, I thought I recognized Naomi's card when it popped out of there. She has sent in quite a few cards that have similar themes. She makes these for cards for soldiers. And on the back of the card she sends in is a Facebook group for the cards for soldiers. I will put that link in the description box below if you're interested in going and finding out more, maybe how you can make cards yourself. And she also used the March 2020 sheet load of cards, but she changed up the layout a little bit. I love that. Thanks, Naomi. Next is an envelope from Diane A. Oh, another adorable springy March 2020 sheet load of cards card. I love the colors. And there's a little chocolate bunny there. Thank you, Diane. And last but not least, I have two envelopes from Linda H. So Linda's note on this one, she used a February 2020 sheet load of cards and her note said that she made a set of masculine cards for the older men in our lives. This is awesome. It's a great color palette. I love that die you used back there for the nest and then the addition of the Silver, gray, and black sequins is awesome. Oh my goodness, look at this inside. It says, over the hill and still running wild. That is awesome, Linda. Thank you for sharing that. And then finally from Linda, we have a March 2020 sheet load card with a letter in it, which Linda, I will read that later off camera, but thank you. It looks like you took a little bit of time to write me a note. I love that. So the sentiment on this one says, keep your head up and your heart strong. Oh, Linda, this is perfect for right now. I don't know about the rest of you, but during all of this social distancing and self-isolating and quarantining time, I have been, you know, pretty upbeat, pretty okay with it. I'm not a real big extrovert or somebody who has to be out there all the time. But on Friday, I went out and it just kind of hit me hard what's going on and it made me a little sad. So I think sentiments like this and just getting happy mail right now is so extra special. I encourage each one of you, if you're making these sheet loads, let's get them sent out with little notes to our friends, family, coworkers, neighbors. It was a great time to use these cards up. I wanted to stop by real quick and tell you more about this sentiment that I was just gushing over. I did read Linda's letter off camera and she said this is a sentiment from a close to my heart Australia fundraiser stamp set. I'm not sure if you can still get that. I will look online and if it is available I'll link it in the description box below. I don't know about you but I think all of the cards that I got sent this month were just fabulous. I loved each and every one of them. Thanks again, ladies, for sending these in. If you enjoyed getting to see the cards today, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. 
and until tomorrow, which it is time for a new sheetload of cards, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.